two finals on the track for us today on the men's side. The 5,000 meters is next. Nico Young of Northern Arizona, who is in this race, has the collegiate record. Meet the meet record by Noor of Northern Arizona. So two lumberjacks represented on that graphic. And three lumberjacks in this race for NAU. Arkansas also has three. Worth noting those numbers for the team implications that are on hand today. And you mentioned that collegiate record of Nico Young. He is the first collegian to run sub-13 minutes, breaking Harvard's Graham Blanks' record that lasted just a few weeks, clocking 257.14. And as they were walking back to get into their set position to start high-fiving a couple of the teammates who he has in here and talked to him about this yesterday, being in this race with a couple of teammates around him. He said having those guys around in this race over 5,000 indoors really mimics the dynamics of the cross-country success that NAU has had. He is so heavily motivated coming into this championship. Also looking at Kai Robinson of Stanford, who last year swept the 5K, 10K titles at the NCAA Outdoor Championships. That was the first NCAA long distance sweep since 2016. And this time last year, he was coming off an appearance at the World Cross Country Championships for Australia as well. So what a big year it has been for Kai Robinson, who undoubtedly has those aspirations of representing Australia at the Paris Olympics later this year. And then Parker Wolf of North Carolina in this field as well. Wolf number nine on the all-time indoor collegiate list. Won the ACC indoor mile title in 3.54, breaking Yard Nagusa's meet and conference record. So there are your list of competitors. 11 on the inside alley, five on the outside. I'm not really sure I understand the math on that, but <laughs> that's the way they've decided to do it. 16 total runners. And what we will talk about and haven't talked about yet is Nico Young has got a lot to prove here. He is capable of spectacular performances at times, but he hasn't really won anything of note from a standpoint of a championship. He has been a part of a team championship, of course, in cross country. It's the individual title that has eluded him, but he has had such an incredible career and obviously boasts that incredible resume. And he told his coach, Mike Smith, after this championship last year, I'm coming back, things are going to be different. He was fourth in this event last year behind his teammate, Drew Bosley. And in talking about Nico Young, just what we were mentioning, Mike Smith said he has come agonizingly close a lot of time, but things are coming together for him this season. So even with that long delay for the 60 meter hurdles, heats were only 11 minutes off schedule here in Boston. 16 athletes on the track for this 5,000 meters. 25 laps of this 200 meter oval. Looks like Peter Maru is right there and up front. I talked to a number of coaches that said he is the wild card coming into this meet. He is a freshman. This is his NCAA championship debut. He swept the 3,000 and the 5,000 at the SEC indoor meet, setting meet records in both, seeing Parker Wolf get up there with him. The Hogs are going to make it honest, it looks like. They're going to make things, or at least they started out. They're going to set the pace early on. Now we see things come to an abrupt halt once they got out there. A lot of tactical racing. You see Kai Robinson out there. You know, you mentioned the records that there are. You can see a meet record held by Abdi Nur of Northern Arizona. Eight athletes in the field have run faster than what that meet record is. However, the way things are going right now, we may not see a meet record setting pace if things continue. Now starting to get a little bit strung out now, 65.17 opening 400 meters. 
Well, Parker Wolf, the junior from North Carolina, currently in second place. We caught up with him yesterday, and he addressed the whole issue about the Northern Arizona University runners here in Boston. I think freshman year, we saw those guys were like, wow, there's NAU. And now we've, we've been around them enough times and um, raced them enough times, it's kind of just another day in the office. So familiarity is usually an advantage for those who have lost, not respect, but have lost the fear of the unknown. Just another day at the office, used to seeing what they do. It's like a sprinter who knows that an athlete gets an amazing start and is out there for the first 50 meters, but over the course of the 100 meters, you're gonna finally reel him in, and once you do it three or four times, you're, never, you're no longer shocked by the fact that the person is well out there at the first half of the race. And you talk about familiarity. A lot of these athletes have that familiarity going back to the cross-country season, and Haptum Samuel of New Mexico was the runner-up at the NCAA cross-country meet behind Graham Blanks of Harvard. That was the best finish by a freshman since Edward Cheserek back in 2013. So that is elite company to be a part of, and that just shows you that he is fearless going into these championship races, although it is his freshman season there at New Mexico. Currently on 1338 pace. So no record expected, but championships are about racing and about placing. Peter Maru there with a 14 on his hip. Won that 3,000 from the non-seeded section in Arkansas, correct? Both wins at the SEC meet in the 3,000 came from the unseeded sections. Peter Maru for the men, Parker Valby on the women's side. See, this is what Peter Maru did at SECs as well. He gestures around and uh, kind of commands somebody else to get up and go alongside him. Now he has his teammates up there as well. That's Karami Yego and Patrick Kiprop. This is what we saw them do. Use the team tactics up front. A lot of positioning, a lot of trading off to the lead. So somebody's going to have to get up there and to get up there and, and risk breaking it up. You know, one thing that we heard Cole Hawker say at the World Championships when he went out really aggressive was, I didn't want to leave a lot of people in the race that didn't belong in the race. So when things do go slow and tactical like this, you run the risk of having a whole lot of people in there who can rely on sitting and kicking who have not necessarily come in with the performances. But to your point, Dwight, it's all about the racing. So much of the indoor season is, a, now what's Maru doing? He's bouncing out to lane three, talking back to somebody, looking at his teammates, it appears. But it's so much of the indoor season, you have to chase the performances. You have to chase the mark to get into the meet. Now this is actually about competition. Well, there are four or five Kenyans in this race, and I'm assuming that Swahili is the language that's being used to do this directing. So uh, you would be well within your rights to maybe learn a little bit of that to know what's going on. So the last two 400s, they went from 70.8 to 69.3. So through 1,600 meters at 411. So, sorry, I was, at 431. Okay, there we go. 431 through 1,600. So team tactics definitely being employed here by the Arkansas group. Here's comes Kai Robinson. Like what Kai Robinson is doing and not leaving this to everyone else, getting out there. He obviously is well experienced in these types of racing situations and, you know, the success that he had last year outdoors. So like where he is jumping up there to break up what Arkansas was doing at the lead. But again, look at from the team points perspective, what Arkansas can do with the guys they have in this race. And you're seeing Northern Arizona be very conservative early on. They're staying out of all that mess that's happening up ahead of them. Nikhil Young was back in 13th place. And is moving into the 
middle of the pack. Of course, not too far off the lead as he now is making a major move out into lane two to improve his position. But one thing that you have seen from Nico Young as his racing has developed is he doesn't have to respond to every move in a race. He's more selective when he makes certain moves. That's where he's really, really grown. And he is one of the strongest closers in this field as well. That is something that he can rely upon as well because just a few weeks apart from running that sub-13, he also ran 357.33 for, at altitude for the mile. Well, you can see Nico Young now moving his way into the lead group. And we got a chance to talk to him about that great times, great performances, but no championships yet. A win would be awesome. Um, I think I've wanted one for quite a while. I think I'm in a great place for one right now. I think I've run fast enough that this race can go anyway, and I'm still confident in my abilities. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, these, these races, yeah. Dwight, one thing we heard from him yesterday was it's more so the 10 points for the team that he's focused on than the individual victory. It's what it means for this team title. So you can see he is so unselfish as a competitor and as an athlete and certainly wants to bring his other guys up there into scoring position with him as well. And that's Jackson Sharp also into the picture from Wisconsin. He won the Big Ten title in the 3K and the 5K for the second consecutive season just two weekends ago. Kai Robinson of Stanford, last year's 5 and 10,000 meter NCAA champion in uh, Austin. Up there in the front for the Cardinal. And when he won the national title, his parents were back in Australia watching the live stream in the parking lot of a gas station on their phones. And uh, his dad said that he watched his mom, Susan, basically run the entire final 400 meters with Kai Robinson because she was so anxious, so nervous, and so excited to see him do just that. One factor for Kai Robinson as well as we look ahead to the, the outdoor season following this championship, he'll have to compete in Australia for their trials in the outdoors, and I believe that falls in April. So he's going to have to structure his outdoor racing season around the opportunity to make to get an appearance and to place on to make that team. I've always said at the high school and college level, track is a team sport. Your individual performance contributes to the success of the team. 3,000 meters in 8.22. So they threw in a 2 minute 40 sec 6 second kilometer. Kai Robinson making the pace a little more honest than we saw with Peter Maru, but Maru is perfectly fine with the job that he's doing. The Arkansas Razorbacks are in the top five. Just under 65 seconds for the last 400 meters. And although Maru is a freshman and this is his first indoor season of competition, he did compete at the World Championships two years ago as a teenager. Head coach Chris Buckingham describes him as a monster. He just runs so fearlessly when he gets onto the track. Maru now back into the lead with Robinson in second. Nico Young now in third place. Arkansas in the top six with Parker Wolf there of North Carolina on the outside of lane one. Seven laps remaining as we go by the start finish. This is where you start to expect that things are going to break up. Somebody's going to throw in a surge. That was just 62 seconds. So we are seeing the pace quicken. And one difference that you'll notice from Nico Young this year versus last year. Mike Smith told me that last year at this point he was working through some biomechanics, biomechanics aspect of his stride. His close has become even stronger since then. If the Lumberjacks are going to contend for this team title, they need to get their other two runners, Theo Quacks and Aaron Las Harris, into scoring position. Right now, they are not. How impressive has Parker Wolf been the entire race? He has been in the thick of it from the very beginning. He's out there a little bit in lane two, hanging out next to Nico Young, but he has been in fantastic position the entire time. Now 
now coming up with five laps remaining. Maru, Robinson, Wolf, Young. 10.59. And is that Kiplagat for New Mexico? 205 for the last 800 meters. Maru really turning up the heat and not dropping many. He does have good speed as well. Ran a leg on the Arkansas DMR earlier this season. Clocked sub or clock 354, I should say, on that anchor leg. So has a good closing kick that saw put on display at the conference championships. Again, there's Robinson, there's Wolf hanging in right there, and Nico Young kind of in the catbird seat right there, watching everybody in front of him and doing a good job of staying out of any trouble. There are plenty of athletes up close to the front who could take this race in the final 800 meters, coming around with 600 meters remaining. And Wolf decides to take the lead with three laps to go. Wolf, Maru, Robinson, Young. 62.5 for that last 400 meters. Parker Wolf tactically has executed an incredible race. The cross country All American with a top 10 finish last fall. Now here comes Nico Young throwing down that incredible kick that he can always tap into. 400 meters, less than 400 meters remaining. Now it's Wolf, Young, Maru, and Robinson. Las Harris of Arizona, now they're in Arizona, now in scoring position. Coming around to the bell, and Nico Young is in full sprint. Young takes the lead over Wolf. Wolf covers it. Maru is dropped. Robinson trying to find something to react. Of course, coming down from Flagstaff, Nico Young drowning in oxygen here in Boston. He's finally going to win an individual championship. The collegiate record holder at 5,000 meters, part of that winning NCAA cross-country team from Flagstaff. Young wins the 5,000, followed by Wolf, Kai Robinson. Maru ends up fifth. I think Evans Kipla got the freshman from New Mexico, was fourth. The last time a Northern Arizona University athlete won this race was David McNeil 14 years ago in 2010. 27 second last 200, 55 second last 400, 155 for the last 800 for Nico Young. I think he is now can throw off that you haven't won a championship by yourself yet though. Label. Indoor season of dominance and record-breaking performances comes to fruition for Nico Young and in definitive fashion. He left nothing to chance, knew he could tap into that kick. So very confident with the way he was able to do that. Was so patient in how he executed this race, waited for that prime opportunity, and he is expected to be back in the 3,000 meters to, uh, tomorrow. That was Hab Tom Samuel of New Mexico that finished in fourth position, not Kiplagat. So there are the official results. Nico Young sprinted from way out, way out, in order to pass Parker Wolf and take the title over him. Kai Robinson ended up third. Hab Tom Samuel of New Mexico. Peter Maru drops to fifth place for the Razorbacks, and John is downstairs with the 5,000 meter winner. I am, and it's like a radio program. First time, long time. Here comes Nico Young with the champion's interview. You go across the finish line, no one's in front of you. What goes through your mind? Um, I mean, I I'm just like super grateful because I've been practicing for this. Um, I've always wanted one of these. Uh, I, knew, I knew I could definitely get one today, but Executing at, at a championship like this is um, a whole nother thing. So, uh, yeah, it's, it bodes well for the end of this year. Yeah. Was there any frustration building over the years to get here and finally win? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think everyone's gone through their fair share of adversity coming into these meets. So, um, I think I'm at a place now where I'm just in such a good place fitness-wise that even if I have some adversity, I'll 
going to be fine. And then let's just go kind of through the, the, the whole race plan because it appeared that we had some surges and you never felt like you needed to get to the front. What were you thinking throughout those 25 laps? Yeah, um, I mean, I think a lot of that goes to practicing at conference, like running the 800 in the mile. It kind of like shrinks mechanics down. I mean, uh, gosh, uh, strat I can't, my brain's not working, but that, uh, you know, race strategy down. So running a 5K, I just stayed out of the mess for as long as possible. No wasted energy. I was confident in my kick, so it didn't really matter. Congratulations. Go see your coach. I bet he's, he's, he's pretty excited about this for you as well. Yeah, thank you. There you go, Dwight. First timer. That's awesome. Well, Boston's been good to Nico Young. He set the collegiate record here back in January at the Terrier Classic at BU and now wins the 5,000 meter championship. His teammate did score one, po one point, so 11 points total for Northern Arizona. I should say two points, 12 for the Lumberjacks in the 5,000. They're hoping for more, but they'll be happy with that, along with the third place in the weight throw from last night.